Alright, hi, hello, my name is Aspen, and today I am going to redesign Operetta from Monster High. Her redesign is mainly based on G1, how I kind of went into this redesign thinking. I think it would be, it's pretty, uh, <laughs> thinking it's like if I were to reboot Monster High and give, and give them new designs, what would I design them like? So that is how I imagine going into this, so let's get into the redesign. So if you didn't know, Operetta is the daughter of the Phantom from the Phantom of the Opera. So I have I have never like watched or read the Phantom of the Opera before. I know a little bit about the story, but not enough to like do it correctly. So I did search up a synopsis of the story. Could have gotten more information from it. Didn't really give me enough, I think. I tried to mainly learn about the, the Phantom, and I really didn't learn that much about him. All I learned from the synopsis is that he's dead, and he's apparently murderous. <laughs> I, in my notes here, I, I'm saying that I wrote that the voice that Christine has been hearing is a murderous ghost. <laughs> I hope that's right. I have no clue if it is or not. And also that he's very jealous. I have a feeling that's not it, but it's what I have. Alright, just, who is Operetta? Just, what, what is about her? So, Operetta was born in France, and she's a phantom. Because the original story of the Phantom of the Opera takes place in the Paris Opera House. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it is the Paris Opera House, apparently, according to my notes. <laughs> so, Operetta is like a diva, and she's very... She, I think Operetta is very cool. I'm going to say that. Operetta is a pretty cool character. She's one of the musical characters that I feel like I don't want to stab out my ears when I <laughs> hear them talking. Like, Operetta, she's a cool character. And it says that Operetta also has a passion for singing. Or music, at least. Music, at least, is her greatest passion. But Operetta doesn't sing because of her musical voice powers. <laughs> Operetta, like, we were first really got to know her in Friday Night Frights, I think. Which is the spec, which is the movie where they play Scream. Like, we had met Operetta before. We had, we had gotten to know her before. But she wasn't, we didn't really get to know her that well. I think we really got to know her first in Friday Night Frights. So, Operetta's character is actually kind of funny. Here's something. So, oh, Operetta would be like a Phantom of the Opry. Instead of a Phantom of the Opera. And if you don't know what an Opry is like I did before searching it up... And Opry is a place where they play live country music. <laughs> so if you were to go to like a live country music performance, you would be at, at an Opry. And apparently in early development, Opera was intended to be in Cleo's place. Like Cleo, like Cleo's place was originally supposed to be Operetta. So Monster High would have been very different if they didn't replace Operetta. <laughs> So now I'm actually going to get onto a design because I've just been talking about Operetta. So, Operetta's dress, yeah, I changed her design a lot, that's something. <laughs> her dress is based on a dress that I found online. I didn't save a picture of it though, wish I did. Her dress is based on a dress from 1910s France. And 1910s because that's when the original story we came out. I think it actually came out in 1909. And she has four patches on her dress. Piano tiles, a treble clef, a bass clef, and p and spider webs. So the piano tiles, the treble, treble and bass clefs because of music. If you didn't know what treble and bass clefs are, or just clefs in general, they are like telling you what key you're supposed to be playing in, I think. No, they're telling you you're supposed to be able to play like high or low, 
There's also another clef, the percussion clef, but it's just literally just two lines. Think of it like just the number 11. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't do the percussion clef because of, because it's so boring. So the treble clef is a clef that is played on higher in, higher pitched instruments. Think of like the piano, the flute, or the clarinet. And also an instrument called bells. Yeah, most most instruments are played on the treble clef, I'm pretty sure. A lot of them are. And that's also the reason why I gave it a lighter black background. You can see it has a yellow background. And it has a yellow background because it's played on like higher pitched instruments. And then the bass clef has a darker background because it's played on lower pitched instruments. Like the baritone or bass guitar. Yeah, the baritone, that's a horn. You didn't know. And also the colors that I chose for the patches are actually the same. Just inverted. And the spider webs because she had like spider webs in her original design. And also because she likes being in the catacombs. The mask because it is also is a reference to her father. And also because she wears a one-eyed mask in her original design. I didn't really like how it was just an eighth note. In her original design though so I did change it I don't really know why I chose that shape though the shape is kind of weird and I'm realizing that I kind of just chose it because yeah this is a cool shape I, I, I gave her one glove just because I wanted to I literally have written down in my notes one glove because I liked it no other reason <laughs> Yeah, there really isn't a reason why I gave her one glove. I searched up why people wear one glove, and all I got was golf and stuff, so. <laughs> Just, I don't think Operet golfs. I don't think Operet is a golfing girl. <laughs> I also changed her eye color. Her, her eye color was originally gray, I'm pretty sure. And I changed them to green. And a lot of the colors I kept the same. Like, I think all the colors that I used are color dropped from somewhere. Well, other than, like, her eyes and the mask and all and so that. But, like, the big shapes, like, like the dress, like the blue on the dress and the belt. Yeah, that is stuff that I color dropped. I, the main reason why I changed her masks. Alright, the reason why I changed her mask is just because I didn't really like it. Like, the music note, I can understand why they did a music note. But I just didn't like the look of it, and I didn't like the colors, because it looked like you just puked up black and white. <laughs> it just looked really weird, so I changed it to a little weird shape. Don't know what you could call the shape, though it's just weird. Um, the one glove, I don't know why there's one glove, I just decided to put one glove. And her hair. I really like characters with red hair, that's just something I like. Characters with red hair, I think they look really cool. So I kept her red hair. Actually, fun fact, Opera is one of those characters who doesn't have a last name. So I gave her a last name. The last name I gave her at first translated to red haired in French. But then I saw that the fandom does have a last name, so I gave her that one. So that is Operetta. I hope you enjoyed watching my redesign. This was my first drawing video. I posted other stuff, but that was like two years ago at this point. Which was damn a while ago. So I really hope you just enjoyed this. I've always loved drawing, so I'm happy that I was able to post my drawing. So goodbye. See you next time, or maybe never if you didn't like this.